Hello. So, uh, that uh, Sonic Frontiers update finally came out. And I'm gonna be playing it. I watched a bit of like the little video they released of um, of just like oh, what the update adds. I watched it except for what music they chose because I'm really interested in seeing what music they chose to be able to listen to in this game. I know that sounds like a really small thing, but um, uh. Uh, it's just kind of interesting to me. Um, like in Song of Black Knight, you could get, like, different gem items or whatever that would change the music. And it was really interesting, the choices they played. Like, I think there was, like, a Shadow 1 and played, like, his Adventure 2 theme or something. And with Sonic's, um, gem, you would think it would play, like, his Adventure 1 or Adventure 2 theme. But no, it plays uh, what I'm made of from Sonic Heroes, the final boss theme against Metal Sonic. Which, by the way, is also one of my favorite Chris Forey songs. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, let me get this started. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going in almost completely blind. Game a bit. Actually, oh wait, no, so we have to just be able to see the chat. Right. Uh, here we go. Um, doing this almost blind because I accidentally uh, saw what the uh, springtime cocoa are. They turned to fucking Easter eggs. Uh, which is certainly interesting. Also, I have, like, um, no, no mods on other than save file redirection because, um, I, did, I forgot that I put my main file on that, so. Uh, Battle Rusher starts with, well, first off, I'm just gonna see the, uh, jukebox thing. Alright. Music box by pressing right on the T-pad. Find the sound memory in and cross islands to unlock more songs. Jukebox will not be accessible in certain areas of the game and turn off the only options. Alright. Photo mode. Uh opening the pause menu and gameplay will pause and the camera will be freely mobile. Uh, alright. Makes sense. Uh, this is just my save file of, of right before the final boss, because it doesn't let you do, like, post-game type stuff. And, um, no, let me get my working right. Ooh. There we go. Alright. Um, yeah. Um, by the way, my model will be uh, kind of delayed while playing the game. Uh, in fact, let me see if I can go into options and turn out some of your things. Like. Um, what can I turn off? Oh, Bloom can go. I don't care about Bloom. Uh, yeah, that should be pretty much all I can do. Only other thing I can think of is, like, turning off the red light or something. If things are bad, then, um, you can just, like, set it to, like, 720p or something. So, yeah. Alright. I also saw that they add a quick restart um, button shortcut for uh, actual cyberspace levels, so that'll be that's a good quality of life change. And also, the Elder Coco uh, will actually give you leveled up stuff. All right, let's see what do we got. Oh, it just it's all. 
Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. I wish it was like a whole list, like in generations, like showing a logo and stuff. Oh, secret rings. Please have Black Knight. Yes. Oh, let's see. Oh, what else that? Oh. Okay. All right. Cool. One. Oh. Really? That like newer version of Reach for the Stars. I'm wondering how where like the music stuff will be. Oh wait. Oh. Okay, a little annoying that the music stops here. Ooh, here we go. This one. I'm not sure if this remix was made for Colors Ultimate or for the orchestra. Oh, oh right. Okay, it's one of those. I don't know why I'm doing this. I have everything. Oh, that. The chains Dude's so, world? Okay, cool. Oh, the results theme. Weird. So each thing is just a different song. Alright. Well, then let's see if I can get all these. Then. Like, I've already 100% of the game. Uh, like... And I've only gone through the game once, so I'm thinking of maybe streaming like a second playthrough. So I still think of the, I still think of the game as highly. Maybe ex experience the music a bit better because there were a few times since it's open world game that I. Uh... Oh, encoding overloaded. Hmm. Well, I could probably fix that. Thing. 